How Search Engines Work. In the early 1990s, there were only a few hundred websites in existence, and only a few thousand people had access to the computers that supported the web. It did not take long, however, for lists and directories to pop up that helped the few people on the web find the resources they were looking for. Over time, the number of websites grew exponentially, and this required more complicated directories. People began to experiment with other ways of finding the information on the web. One of the first methods devised for exploring the content of the World Wide Web was called spiders, which are small programs that collect the information about a web page and then move on to pages that are linked to from that page. This allowed the collection of more information, but there were only still a few directories which showed the information that was collected. Finding a good way to present the information of an ever-growing World Wide Web became a problem for computer scientists around the world. In March of 1998, two students at Stanford University came up with the idea of assessing the value of a particular website based on the value of the web pages linking to it. They built a search engine using a mathematical algorithm to assign the value of each website that included the requested search. This idea profoundly changed the quality of the search results. Very quickly, this new search engine became extremely popular and had to move from the university servers to become a real company. The main directory websites that existed at the time began to lose market share to this new search engine, which was called Google. As Google began to control more and more of the Internet's searches, they began to control more and more of the Internet's traffic. As companies began to move their products and services online, having a good search engine position in Google became very important. Having a number one position in Google for a very popular keyword could drive large amounts of visitors to any website. So very quickly, there was a strong incentive to game the Google system. But Google's popularity was based on the quality of its search results, and therefore Google wanted to have the final say over how web pages were ranked. So Google began to use more and more types of information to determine the quality of a website. To maintain control, Google did not divulge what type of information they were using to rank their search results, and they still do not do this to this day. Quickly, an entire industry sprang up to help website owners try to do better in the search engine rankings. These companies began to use what is today referred to as Search Engine Optimization, or SEO. Most of SEO is based on having information on the web page and in the HTML source code of the web page that the search engine spiders can find and send back to the search engines, which then include their findings in their rankings. Another thing that is important is that the search engines find the information on the website to be consistent. When the spiders collect information on the website, the page content, the keywords, and the description, all of these things need to be consistent. A website about dogs should not have content about particle physics. Google wants to stay up to date with the content that exists on the World Wide Web. Therefore, it sends out spiders to check on websites all the time. If you are updating the content of your website regularly, it will send out spiders on a regular basis. If you don't update your website regularly, when the spiders visit it, they will not find new content and they, they will start to send spiders less and less to your website. This is one of the many reasons to update your site content regularly as Google views a website that is regularly updated as better than one that is not. You have an advantage, however, because you have set up your Google Places page. You have set up your Google Places page, right? The reason that your Google Places page is so important is because more and more people search Google using their mobile phone, looking for information close to home. In the first half of 2011, almost 25% of all searches were done using mobile devices. This percentage is growing exponentially, and Google wants the quality of the search results to be accurate. That's why Google has the Places program, so they can provide quality local search results. You can benefit from Google's search for quality results by optimizing your Google Places page. In the last few years, most of the major directories have died out or have very little traffic. Yahoo is the last of the major directories, but there are specialty directories that are important to niche interest groups that may be worth your time. You will also want to be sure to find local directories that serve your area and get your website included in them. Getting listed in local directories can send valuable citations to your Google Places page. We'll cover this in depth 
in our Getting Listed video module. As far as other search engines go, Microsoft launched Bing, which uses a similar type of algorithm that Google does. Bing only controls a small share of the market, so most SEO is still focused on Google. In later videos, we will show you how to apply search engine optimization on your website. But for now, we hope this gives you an overview of how Google and other search engines work. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to stop by our site to pick up the checklist for the video, which includes more information and resources.